Hello, hello. Madame. I'm David. Pleased to meet you. I met a young couple called Maha and Talal and their little two year old son. Who's this? Hisham. Hisham. Hello, Hisham. And I'm David. They were from Hans in Syria and they fled there about uh, five years ago. And they left because the crisis there obviously was getting more and more dangerous. And when I asked them about their home back in, in Homs in Syria, of course, there is no home anymore, that's just rubble, so there's no place for them to go back to. And they had horrendous stories about the bombing continuing. Talal is a carpenter and Maha wants to study architecture. They live in this condemned building. Talal has redecorated it it's as best he can with his own carpentry. Mm -hmm. He finds it hard to work here in Lebanon. And although this is a country that is very welcoming to refugees, but now at the moment, you know, over a million refugees are being settled here. So, you know, the country is finding that very difficult. Everything is very expensive. The rent they're paying on the place he was living in, which, as I said, is in, in a condemned building. You know, he can't make that rent. He can't really work here. So it's really important they have been identified as a vulnerable family. They have a young child to be resettled in, in England. I was really encouraged by meeting them today and seeing how committed they are to settling in. They've found their feet quite quickly. Do you remember me? هذا بصراحة يعني لما طلعنا من سوريا جينا على لبنان يعني ما متوقعين بصراحة يعني إنه نجي على على لندن أو حيرة يعني دولة إنه أجنبية أو شيء يعني هاد توقعنا إنه نلاقي صعوبات أكثر من هيك ما لا كلش كل شيء يعني لا أكيد حياة جديدة وانبسطت كثير حسيت حالي ببيتي فتت على بيتي ثاني They want to really take on everything here in the UK language commitment and be part of, of the society. The one thing about UNHCR is they provide a lifeline for people to rebuild their lives, really. You know, we've seen all the devastation on the TV from Syria, where they, these families have come from. And here they are now trying to rebuild it with full of hope and encouragement and, and really committed to that. And that was, that was the thing for me to see. It's really encouraging, you know, to see families suddenly basking in the safety of being here. You know, that's really important.